This is virtual reality. So you guys have seen these virtual reality headsets. We're using these with neurofeedback. So you see here as we begin, I got Sam, one of our clinicians here, an occupational therapist, and he's putting on the electrodes. You know how that's done, so I sped that up a little bit. And now here we are putting on the headset. So you see him applying that on Griffin here. And so they're carefully putting the headset on. And then once they've got that on, then he puts the headphones in. You can also plug in different headphones there. Uh, there's a little plug, and so you can plug in any kinds of headset. They're, they're using the earbuds right now. And here they go with the beautiful eagle game. So you fly this eagle over the landscape, and you look around, and you see as you fly. He's pressing the F key on the keyboard, and that puts you in free flight. And for those who are a little more uh, sensitive in the stomach, um, the free flight might not be for them. But if you can do it with your stomach, um, it doesn't make you nauseous. You press F, and it puts you in free flight. And then you can look around and turn and steer and go anywhere you like. So you see them there in the corner using virtual reality, and you see how he is seated. And there's these little light boxes that go up on each corner of the room, and they help image where your head is and where the game controllers are. And he is seated. You can do this standing, although I'm not quite sure how you would uh, attach the neuroamp and the electrode. So generally here, we're just doing this seated. Um, feel free to adventure if you find a way to do that. Here we go, full screen and the eagle is flying around and you can uh, go get these awards and stuff in the game. Here's another game. And notice now he's got the game controller in his hand. And so Sam just handed uh, Griffin the game controller there. And so he can actually play the game with his hands. So he's steering with his hands, but then he's looking around the environment with his eyes. And literally, when you turn your head, you see a different part of the world. And it's so immersive. I mean, it feels like you're there. It's really, really extraordinary. The experience is amazing. I had a whole bunch of people at the summit coming and trying and sitting in there and just, just putting on the VR headset, not even electrodes, uh, just putting on the VR headset to just experience that for the first time. Because it really is incredible. It's Finally, the technology is there where it's fast enough to really experience this. Now, those are the hand controllers that go with the Vive. And what is incredible is those hand controllers actually show up in the game. And it's amazing. You move them, they move in front of your eyes. I, it's so fast. It's as if your hands are really in the game, controlling those game controllers and moving them around. And I think there's something really sort of uh, mental, visceral about that, of you're moving something so quickly in the game, it all of a sudden puts you there. It feels like you're really in the game because you're moving those hand controllers. This one's a little, uh, a little dangerous for those who are not get nauseous easily. You're out on the waves, and uh, and so if you don't get nauseous, this one is really beautiful. Watch as they go under the water and then above the water, and you can look around and turn your head. Just really gorgeous on these waves. But make sure you're checking whether people get nauseous. Uh, it's a little confusing if somebody, you know, what are we doing with the neurofeedback? What are we doing with the VR headset here? Not. So you can look and the game you stare at, it counts to 100 there and then it chooses that game. So you can choose just by looking and you look at the menu and it's so And here he's just in this beautiful environment. The feedback is part of this. You have this graying out. A lot of things get darker or smaller with the training frequency. With the inhibits, you get sort of a graying out. So the feedback is involved, and a lot of things are changing in the game. So these are specially designed for this work, and they've been specially designed or modified specifically for this. And that's the new VR. You saw him taking off the headset there. And it is cool. We're using it here, and people really, really like it. Thank you so much. I'm Kurt Othmer.